Hi yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a warrior challenge flow and since our goal here is to do a little bit of uh, weight loss or weight management, we are going to start getting into the movement right away. So I am in just a Yabata Kanasada here. You can come to an easy seat if that's a little bit better for you. Not worrying about stretching, pressing the knees down, anything. Just letting gravity do its thing, kind of starting to open up uh, your inner thighs, opening up the legs. And from here we're going to start moving inhaling reach up and exhale turning to the right and we'll kind of do uh, not quite a cat cow but just like a little mini bend in your upper back exhale twist arching the back and as we're doing this movement starting to activate our mula bunda breath this is really going to help us uh, amp up and get all of our energy and deep core moving grooving so inhaling as you inhale, think about expanding and breathing in a 360 direction from your low belly. And as you exhale, think about squeezing everything in and up as you exhale through the nose. A few more breaths in this position. Last one on each side. Be squeezing in and up from your pelvic floor, pelvic diaphragm, and from here bringing your legs together. We'll take that a little bit deeper now. So inhaling and exhaling. Um, ooh, get in the wall. <laughs> you can twist to the right. Exhale, twist to the left. You can also have hands to heart center at Namaste and do this twist that way. Sorry to get a little bit more into the. Uh, abdominal muscles, the abdominal wall, your obliques. Total core warm up here. And the last one on each side. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, just hug your knees to your chest, stretch out your low back for a moment. Very nice. Now from here, we're gonna make our way onto a uh, down dog position. So strong fingertips onto the earth, strong palms, pressing yourself back into down dog. You can pedal out your feet here, walk your dog a little bit, starting to open up the backs of your legs now. And take a slight bend in your knees and elbows, wave your spine long, create some space for your neck and shoulders, and then exhale, pressing back and settling into your dog position. Again, letting gravity do most of the work here for our heels, making our, its way towards the ground. You're not really straining to get your, your heels onto the mat or anything. Taking a couple of breaths to settle into this pose. Remembering that Mula Bandha, inhaling in a 360 direction in your low belly and your pelvic floor. And exhaling through the nose, squeezing the air in and out. Now from here, deep bend in your knees and elbows. You're going to wave yourself forward to plank. Tiny bend in your elbows and exhale. Press yourself back to down dog. Do that again. Big bend in knees and elbows, waving to plank. Getting a bit deeper core warm up here. Getting into our whole body. Maybe a couple more of these dog to plank waves. Bending your knees and elbows is going to create a lot of space, give you the momentum to move. Inhale, exhale as you press back. Last one here. This time you're going to come onto your knees, lower through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up to a cobra. And exhale. Exhale, back to down dog. Very nice. All right, we're going to start getting into our warrior challenges. So inhaling here, right leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, bring it into your chest, really lifting up, creating some space and stepping the right foot to the right thumb. Inhale here, prepare. You're going to bend your back knee, roll yourself in and up. Now from here, just gently placing the foot back, comfortable position, knees and toes in line. You've got kind of a diagonal with your foot. Your hips are open a little bit to the side, kind of like to the corner of your mat, because we're going into warrior one. And then twist, 
just your upper body. So your right knee is still facing forward. We've got slight openness in the hips and we're coming into warrior one. Now to make this a bit more of a challenge, we're gonna add some eagle arms. So from here, let's start with cactus arms and wrap eagle arms, so right arm under left. You can even just have uh, your forearms and palms touching if you wanna wrap all the way around. Wrap your hands, you can do that. We're gonna stay in this warrior two, uh, one position and inhale, little cat cow with your eagle arms. holding this warrior one position as we're adding some movement. Last one, you're gonna inhale, and this time exhale just a little bit further to that first edge of stretch, coming into a humble warrior. Holding this for a couple of breaths. And gently release that. Now bending your back knee, you're gonna to walk towards the center of your mat. Right toes are still facing forward, but aiming for a 90 degree angle in your uh, right knee. Back knee is a bit more parallel to the mat, still bending your knees here as you exhale, stacking your spine over your hips, and exhale into warrior two. We'll add some movement to this one. So inhaling, search everything up. Exhale, press out through fierce mudra to warrior two. Inhale, reach up. Really pressing through the palms of your hands as you exhale. Inhale, reach up, and exhale. Last one, very nice. Drop your left hand to your left leg. Slight bend in the back knee as you reach your right arm over your face for reverse warrior. A couple of breaths to settle in this pose. I'm sure that right leg is on fire. And exhale. Cuddle your hands to the earth. Step back into your plank. Come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, roll yourself up to a cobra and exhale back to down dog. Very nice. Pedal out your feet. Take a moment to uh, get that mula bun the breath back if it went anywhere. You can even exhale, stick out the tongue for lion's breath. And then we'll try that on the other side. So bending knees and elbows, left leg lifts. To the sky, exhale, lifting in and up for your core plank one, creating a lot of space to slip your left foot to your left thumb. Inhale here, prepare, bending your back knee as you roll yourself in and up to your high lunge for a moment. Exhale, naturally ground the right foot this time. Got a little bit of a diagonal in your foot, diagonal in your hips, and exhale as you settle into that warrior one pose, twisting just from the side body, your obliques, chest. I'm trying that eagle arms challenge again. So bending your arms this time, left arm goes under, backs of palms can touch, or you can wrap all the way around. We'll do that cat-cow spine with your eagle arms again, so inhale, exhale. Couple more times here. This time as you inhale, as you exhale, I should say a folding to the humble warrior position, folding just inside your left leg, keeping the spine long. Last breath here, gently release that coming walk to center. Um, just for a moment, keeping your left toes facing forward, bending both of your legs, and exhale as you stack your hips, your spine, and your shoulders, pressing out into your warrior two. Inhaling, reach up, extend everything to the sky, and as you exhale, we press out through your palms in that fierce mudra, back to your warrior two. Really using the breath for these movements. Last one, inhale up, exhale, very nice, slight bend in the back knee. Bend your left elbow as you extend, reach behind you for your reverse warrior. 
right leg is gently resting some right hand is gently resting somewhere on the left right leg. And exhale. Cartwheel your hands back to the earth, stepping back into your plank, coming through your chaturanga, inhaling here, prepare, rolling in and up to a cobra, and exhale. Back to down dog, very nice. And take that lion's breath again. Simulate the top of your deep core line. And we have one more warrior that we're gonna try. We'll add a challenge here. So you're gonna inhale your right leg lifts, exhale, lift it in and up, stepping your right foot to your right thumb again. This time, bending your left knee. So now we've got both knees bent, we're kind of hugging the body a little bit, fingertips are out wide. We're gonna come into a warrior three position. You can use blocks or the wall or the floor for balance if you need. But inhale here, prepare. You're gonna exhale. Start by extending the spine long and the top leg long, really pressing up through the top foot. And then lifting up into your warrior three. Finding that balance. You can have your hands together at heart center. You can reach them behind you or reach them in front of you. If you want a little kick of fire challenge, you can inhale here, exhale. Fists of fire as your left knee comes in. Inhale out. Exhale. Good. Last time here. Inhale. Make sure that right leg is shaken. From here, exhale. Holding forward over that right leg. Finding that first edge of stretch, keeping the spine long. You can extend your top leg to get a bit deeper split here. Or I should say standing splits. And you can experiment with keeping your hips closed or opening your hips more. Try both. See what you like better. Then from here, bending the right knee, left leg plants behind you, and then extending the right leg long again. Into a bit deeper of a forward fold here. Left hand grounds into the earth. Bend your right knee again. Right arm extends, and then you can Find that first edge of stretch in the right leg again, this time getting into the outer hips a bit more. Very nice, circle that down, strong palms, step yourself back to down dog. I'm sure you can feel the difference in the right and left leg, so we'll try that on the other side. Inhale here, prepare, left leg lifts, exhale, knee to chest, create space as you step your left foot to your left thumb. Inhaling here, prepare, bending your right knee. So you got your right knee into your chest, starting with your bent left leg. Inhale here, extending the spine long through the crown of the head. Then start to extend your top right leg, really pressing out through your heels if you're trying to press against the wall with your right foot. And then finding that, that lift with your left leg. Really lifting up through the back of your skull, your front low spine. Hands can be at heart center. You can extend behind you or reach forward. Then if you want to try that kick of fire challenge, you'll inhale here. Exhale, fists of fire to low belly as you bend your right knee. Inhale out. Exhale. Inhale last time. Exhale. Inhale, very nice wherever you are. Fingertips to the earth. Wave your spine along again as you fold over your front leg. If you want to take that a little deeper, extending the top leg a bit straighter. Again, just finding your first edge of stretch for all of these moments. You can open your hips if you liked that before. And then bending your left knee, stepping your right foot back behind you, extending the left knee again to come into that deeper stretch. Maintaining length in your spine the whole time, of course. Then from here, bending your left knee again, right hand plants underneath the right shoulder, left arm extends to the sky, and exhale, finding that first edge of stretch for our outer hips. Very nice. Exhale. 
exhale, circle it down, step yourself back to down dog. We'll take one vinyasa to sink all of that energy and movement that we did. So inhaling, deep bend in the knees and elbows, exhale, wave yourself forward, plant your knees, lower as your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, exhale, wave yourself in and up. And this time, exhale back to a child's pose, a very well-deserved child's pose. And from here, walking yourself onto the back of your, uh, onto your back, just laying down on the mat. You can windshield wipe your legs before coming into your final resting pose. Now we did stretching while we did strengthening, but if there are any other stretches that you want to take, definitely do that now. And then whenever you're ready, stretch your legs out long. Coming into your final resting, your Shavasana pose. Just letting all that strength you just build Settle into your body, into your new alignment, your new normal. Um, I hope that you enjoyed that practice. Definitely stay in Shavasana for a couple of minutes if you've got the time. Um, but like I said, letting your body kind of set into that new strength and that new alignment. I definitely want to see you on the mat again next week. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel so you get notifications for the new videos. And of course, I have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. So make sure you're signed up there as well. See you next time. Namaste.